Have you ever noticed that some in Hollywood have an elitist attitude towards the public? They think you're supposed to watch their stuff no matter what. And when you don't like it, they tell you to stuff your comments and don't come back again. Folks, we're here to tell you that's not all. They also say to those who would give them money, you owe us, pay us. Doesn't matter what kind of content we're going to put out. Folks, we'll tell you what's going on with Woke Hollywood today, and we've got rants that you won't want to miss. Here we go. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the Pro Channel, where we are always pulling back the curtain on Hollywood and beyond and showing you what's happening in the entertainment industry in a way that you will not find anywhere else. They, of course, cannot understand what we're up to over here because they do not understand the truth that we continue to cling to and give it to you each and every day. Folks, click that like button. Massive hysteria about to break out in Hollywood as a video of absolute truth bombs raining down upon them. Let's bring on the panel. We've got Polly from Latino Slant, and my oh my, is he ready to drive by with absolute voracious veracity and a tenacity for truth telling right now. Back in the day, Chris, you know, uh, Hollywood used to uh, hire and keep hiring talented writers to where if they had a message, it was, you know, in it was within the organic story of the, uh, of the movie, message movies, you know, from The Killing yeah. Fields, uh, even Dancing with Wolves. But it was... Oh, oh, I love that film. Right? But it was always... <laughs> It was always it was always second to you know a, a a great universal story. It can be done, but now you know they're still being hired. There's just people who don't have any creative uh, guts, who have any creative vision. There's no vision. You know well, the vision is an activist vision, and you know you guys were talking something about earlier about the um, about the the culture changing, and you you to me whenever I see that. I see it in the the fans of said artists saying something about it. A good example for that, because I follow this with the channel, is John Leguizamo. And John is just prolific and notorious with his, uh, with his Instagram and all his posts. And now you're seeing fan after fan just turning on him. They're like, what are you doing? You have a great career. You're this, you're that. Yeah. So I mean, don't let up. Yeah. Don't let up. Yeah, here's what I want to say about Leguizamo. Okay. No one is stopping John Leguizamo from raising money. This business is about if you're a producer, you bring money. That's how you get the film made. You get foreign financing. You get Universal to put up some money. You put it together. There is no barrier, zero, for entry into Hollywood. All these people that say, I'm being kept, I'm being kept. No, you're not. You're not willing to do the work. Well, the, work so is, the work is find the money, write the script, sell the script, do the work, not just get exalted or placed into a position that's weak. The business business is tough, but anyone can make a move. I've raised money for movies. I did a film years ago called My Big Fat Independent Movie. <laughs> we're re we're re-releasing it on Blu-ray. It's coming out later this later this summer. I went out. I raised a half a billion dollars. I got I got uh, Bob Odenkirk to be in it. Patrick Brewster, bunch of people. I made it. No one hired me to do that. No one hired me to write a book. No one hired me to to start Film Threat. These are weak people. John Leguizamo is weak. He has been fortunate to have a thirty-year career and. I like John Leguizamo. Every time I see him in a movie, I, he's he's good. He's good. But if you want to do anything, no one is stopping you. This That attitude, that entitled attitude is BS and it needs to end. Uh, I mean, Sorry, yes, I, get, Chris, I get worked up. I get worked up. I, <laughs> yes, Chris. No, listen. Sorry, he literally, he literally uh, did a post where he's complaining about the roles that he said no to. Oh, boo-hoo, poor you. You're so right, because as is writers, directors, actors, producers, anyone that, that ventures into this, to this business, it's so against the odds that they'll ever be successful already. Across 
color, gender, age, everything. The odds are against you. So the fact that anyone can crack it, God bless you. But also, too, then those that, that Chris has said that go out there and go raise their own money. Well, well, hey, you talk about grit. You talk about vision. Those are the people you need to be hiring every day. And it just it just it pisses me off, too, Gore. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to point out I'm darker than Polly. On the screen. I say that. The other thing is, I just like to oh, point out every chance he can get, he always says he's more Mexican than I am. So there you go. You can have you, you can, can have the floor. Come <laughs> the Mexican wrestling with me, Paul. I love it. I know, but also, Paulie, no one hired you to do the slant. You created it. No one hired you to write your book. You you created it. You found people that wanted it. Look. This is how it works in Hollywood. It's a freelance business. Christopher Nolan, no one hired him. He had to pitch his vision for Batman. And then Warner said, well, we'll take a risk. And Oppenheimer, no one, no one was saying, hey, we should make an Oppenheimer movie. He came up with it and he went to people. They say, well, based on your reputation, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll throw you some, some shekels here to do it. Yeah, look at that website. There you go. The like, handsome hey, website. Hey, we're putting oh, the way, article. This is a, this is yeah, a terrible right attitude. This is a terrible attitude to promote. Give yes. me a job because I fit in a box. Yeah. Bullshit entitlement. Sorry if I is swearing no, you're good, on the streamer. Um, no, I mean, it, it, you're, you're absolutely right. And, you know, that part of Hollywood is terrified with, with, with entities like film threat like uh wd uh continue can, i can you know you go down that list because they don't control you all that's it and the latin Xers that they do control they get you know they might get a smidge of uh of, of a show or whatever but they cancel them right away why because we don't watch them we, they're not good mm. so well we did our latin x Right. It, you know, it, it's it, that's the problem. That's the problem. They no. view it as charity. And so they say, oh, we're going to try this out. They don't they don't go for the story. They don't go for the. They look at it as them doing. Oh, well, this is this is the black picture. This is the Latino yeah. picture. This is the gay picture. And so when it fails under those uh. things, it fails for that entire metric. So well, and they also they also turn uh, every category into a monolith. Right. So white people of Italian, you know, uh, Eastern European British, Irish background, they're all exactly the same. Uh, every single person who speaks Spanish, you're in the same box. And they, they don't <laughs> dive into the differences uh, of all of us, because if they do, then they reveal the humanity and whatnot. You get the idea. We all have to go into our neat little cookie cutter boxes and be exactly who we're supposed to be, according to the stereotypes that they have uh, pre-existed for us. And one of those stereotypes in the minds of some that we're discussing right now, uh, one of those thoughts is, mm. I should be successful because I exist. Make me successful. I deserve it. Now, um, uh, I, I mean, it's it's in our culture. And that's the thing that we, you know, Chris has always talked about uh, eloquently and uh, hilariously is we're too soft on our on our kids, man. You know, and look what look what these mocosos have uh, have become. And they're supposed to we're supposed to hand it off. Who? You know, mocosos means uh, uh, snot, 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 snot nose brats. See, it's a nice word. Oh. <laughs> you got mocos, you're a mocoso, mocoso. you're full of snot. Your first letter is what is W or M? M. Uh, I was, and mocosos is mocosos is, is a different short story. Mocosos is a little bit more endearing, but you know, you can be a cool mocoso. <laughs> or, you know, it, it's that thing where it's just like we. we They've, they've been entitled too much you know like you said it's like uh where, where's love of community where's love outside of oneself where's love of a country where's love of state you know all those things right it's so like about me that they 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 actually hate their existence and it, it's 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 really sad not all of them right uh but well know, if they're forced too. to watch the acolyte we start to have some understanding into their psyche and folks, we have come to the end of yet another video that the Hollywood elites just can't stand, but we continue to bring them to you, the mainstream middle, the sensible center, and explain what's going on behind the cloak of the culture wars taking place across 
the Fruited Plains, descended upon us from Hollywood itself. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, consider clicking the like button, share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell, and we sure would love to know your thoughts. The comment section down there, that's for that. Waste not that mind. It's not the kind of thing you want to waste. Join a community dialogue. And folks, if you want to help us with creating original content, we've stepped our toes, just barely put them in the water, with Vacation Radio. Search for at Vacation Radio on YouTube and join in, listen in, 365, 24-7. And on Leap Years, we'll add another day for free. No charge, folks. All right, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, keep having fun.